Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's definitely been a hot minute since I've filmed a video. I think the last video I actually uploaded was my Sephora VIB haul, um, probably like a month and a half ago. December was just a crazy month for me. Um, it's like the busiest time at my work. And yeah, I think I only had like one day off in the two weeks before Christmas. So it was just crazy. And that's just like my regular day job. That's not on top of um, my makeup job. So yeah, I just had like no free time to really film. Um, I'm hoping in 2020, I will have more time to film. I really, that's one of my goals to film more videos, at least try and upload maybe a video every week. Um, I don't know if that's gonna happen. That's my goal, that's what I would love to accomplish, but we'll see. So another reason why it was really um, hard for me to film all of last month was I've been really sick. Um, I pretty much got sick right after Christmas and I'm still not feeling 100%. Like I'm a lot better than I was, but I think it started out as the flu and then it turned into an upper respiratory infection. So it's been like over three weeks now. Um, and when I first started not feeling good, I was just like so weak. I couldn't do anything. I was just laid in bed for almost a whole week. Um, it was, yeah, like horrible. Um, I do usually get the flu or get sick really bad at least like a couple times. Um, um, every winter so I'm hoping I won't get it again and this will be my like the worst time that I've got it for this year so we'll see what happens um, so anyway yeah finally I'm starting to feel normal still not 100% but a lot better than I was and I felt up to filming a video finally so yeah that's what we're doing today so this is the first video I'm filming of 2020 and I thought a fun video um, to start off with would be everything I got for Christmas, like what I got for Christmas. So this is not obviously every single thing I got for Christmas, this is just beauty products um, that I thought you guys would be interested in seeing what I got. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right in. I'm gonna start off with some of the small stuff. This is mostly like stuff I got in my stocking first. Um, so this is the first thing. It's just some Q-tips. Um, these are great. I love just keeping these on my vanity. These are the ones that are like double-ended and they have the pointed ends. These are just really convenient and great to clean up makeup. So yeah, that was awesome. So that's the first thing. The next thing I got was these All May makeup wipes. Um, these are great. These are actually, I've already used a bunch of these and this is the All May Biodegradable Micellar Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. These are pretty new. Um, I don't know if they are like replacing the older style, but I, I do like the All May wipes, but I like these even more. Like I'm really loving these. This is, I've probably gone through two or three packages of these already and I want to say I don't know if they're my even my new favorite I still love the yes to cucumber that's definitely like my favorite makeup wipes ever but these are coming pretty close to it um they're just awesome they're like really moist Ugh, I fucking hate that word <laughs> It's gross but anyway I don't know how else to describe it they're just nice and like dampened dampened that's probably a better word <laughs> anyway they just um, they take off the, the makeup really nice um, they feel nice they don't irritate my eyes I do have sensitive eyes I wear contact lenses and yeah they're just really great makeup wipes so yeah that's really cool that I got these um, the next thing is this Nail Teaks, Nail Teakies, I think that's how you say it. And this is the formula number two. They do have like three or four of these, I believe, but I always get number two. It's for soft, peeling, bitten, weak, or thin nails, which I don't really have. I mean, my nails do, they are, they can be weak sometimes and they like crack like on the sides. But for the most part, my nails are pretty good. They're pretty strong, but I, I swear by this stuff I've been using it for years um actually right now now two of my nails did break these two right here but they are they do grow pretty fast so yeah so this stuff is great nail teaks um I love this and number two that's the one I always use um so the next thing I got was this um carity matte liquid lipstick it just says the mattes um 
here's the shade here. It's, the shade is all night long. It's just like a really pretty nude shade. And like I said, this is like my stocking stuff or stuff, but I did pick most of this stuff out myself. I think I said that in um, my last video last year when I was showing like the Christmas products that I got. Like a lot of this stuff I'll just pick out and then I'll give to my husband to wrap because I don't really care. I just like doing that so then like it's hard for him to choose like he couldn't choose like oh yeah she wants this color liquid lipstick you know what I mean? Not that he doesn't know what I like it's just like easier like that because then I get know what I'm picking out and I know what I like and what I want and yeah it just works out. So Anyway, if I can open this, I'm going to try and swatch it. It does have like a little sticky on the end. Okay, so I just got that um, liquid lipstick opened. Um, like I was saying, this is by the brand Carity. Um, I've never tried any of their liquid lipsticks before. Oh, this is different. It's in um, like a square packaging. The color is really pretty. It's a nude, um, one of my go-to shades. But they just started recently carrying this brand, Carity, in CVS. Um, so yeah, so I saw these in there and I wanted to try it. They have a couple of really pretty like eyeshadow palettes too. And they had um, lipsticks. It was like, is this part of the collection? It was called like the 90s collection or the 90s, something like that. Um, and it was a bunch of like really pretty liquid lipsticks, like all those really pretty like nudie mauve shades from the 90s and some of the palettes were really pretty as well. There was one that was like the alien or it had a picture of an alien on it or something. I don't even know what the name of it was, but it's really pretty and I might end up um, getting that because I really liked it. But anyway, back to this liquid lipstick. Um, so this is called All Night Long. It's a really pretty like nude peachy shade. So let me just swatch it here on my arm. Um, so you can just kind of see what it looks like Ooh, that's really pretty it went on really nice and smooth um it looks pretty like opaque in just one swatch oh it's a gorgeous shade yes i can't wait to wear this i kind of want to just put it on over right now what i'm wearing <laughs> but i won't um but yeah really pretty shade um sorry if i'm like talking kind of fast i'm just trying to get through all this stuff because i have kind of like a lot of stuff here and i feel like if i just go on and on about every single product and take our super long time talking about it this video is going to be like an hour long so i'm just trying to um get through most of the stuff as fast as i can okay so the next thing um i got is these kiss lashes this is by the brand kiss it's just called last la oh my god lash couture Fox faux, oh my god, I cannot freaking talk right now. Lash, lash, oh my god. Lash Couture um, Mink Collection. So this is in the style Gala. Gala, Gala. I don't know what is wrong with me right now. I just really can't talk um, right now. But anyway, these lashes are really pretty. They're really um, full and voluminous and long, just like a style. I like, they almost look like 3D, like the way, let me see if I can show this more close up, like the way the lash just flares out, they almost have that like um, 3D kind of effect. So yeah, I just thought these were really pretty. Um, the next thing, I have this like jade roller. It's a, uh, well, it's, a, it's not a jade roller, it's a pink quartz roller. I had just been really, or, rose quartz yeah that's what it's called rose quartz facial roller um it's by the brand plum beauty and it just says improve skin tone if it really improves the skin tone i don't know um let's see what are the other benefits i've never actually really used any of these roller type products before so the other benefits it says reduces under eye puffiness and dark circles tightens and minimizes pores tones facial muscles, enhances the absorption and effectiveness of topical products, increases circulation, and promotes lymphatic drainage. Um, how to use. Apply a moisturizer, serum, or oil to the skin using light pressure. Roll from the center of the face onward until the product is absorbed. It says you can try it with a sheet mask. Um, store the roller in the refrigerator for a more cooling effect. So that's basically what I got this for. I wanted to put this in the fridge and just try it, um, like not even necessarily with 
like my skincare products I just wanted to try this like in the morning like sometimes I do get like puffiness and stuff on my face in the morning so I just thought it would be nice to see if it actually does anything good benefits and works um, and can reduce puffiness and it's supposed to be good for circulation in your skin so that's why I wanted to try it mostly too um, yeah I mean I will try it I guess like before I apply the products and I guess you could like it says you can try it um, when you apply moisturizers and serums and stuff like that and it's supposed to help it like absorb into your skin better so no we'll see I was just curious about a product like this um, and wanted to try it so that's why I picked this out but yeah so we'll see um, so the next couple things are just um, that I got are just like part of my um, like body products like just products I use in the shower and stuff um, that would be nice to stock up on so yeah, it's cool. I got these for Christmas. So I got um, the EOS shaving cream It's just um, it says sensitive cream moisturizes and soothes aloe and wild wild oat um, Lavender butter, so it's kind of like I forget what this smells like I've, I've I have this in the shower right now um, a different one. I think it's like a different scent though So what does this smell like? I don't know. I can't even really like smell this right now. Maybe this is it says no fragrance added, but then it says lavender butter So maybe it has like a slight Lavender scent, but just like smelling it. I can't even really smell anything right now. But anyway, this EOS shaving cream is great Um, it's my favorite shaving cream. I use it all the time I just try like the different scents and stuff and yeah, and I love this tube packaging So that's really cool to have an extra one of those on hand and then my body wash um this is like just my regular body wash that i've been using forever it's the shea moisture coconut and hibiscus illuminating body wash um it just says dull skin um again just my favorite body wash this stuff is great i have sensitive skin so it doesn't irritate my skin it's like no parabens no mineral oil um no animal testing like nothing bad in it it's just a great kind of like organic more type um natural product so yeah um i think just a few more stocking stuffer type things so my elastics just regular black hair elastics um just these are really super convenient i pretty much always have an elastic on my wrist you can see <laughs> the line right there from the elastic but yeah i pretty much always have an elastic on um so yeah so this is just cool to like stock up and have a few extras Okay, so I thought I was done with um, just like the smaller type little stocking stuffer type stuff, but I lied. I just found like a bunch of stuff in another bag. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, let's just get to the rest of the stuff. And while I was doing that, um, I managed to smear this lipstick everywhere because my sweater kind of just like came down. So I got it on the inside of my sweater. Part of it didn't dry, so I got it on one of the bags. Yeah, I'm just having like a really klutzy freaking day today um i got makeup on the front of this sweater before i went to the salon because my sister did my hair today and then i was trying to get like all this crap together that i needed to bring to the salon so in the process of that then i got deodorant all over the bottom of this sweatshirt or sweater or whatever so yeah i've just had a messy klutzy day which isn't anything like totally out of the norm for me but today i just feel like it's been more even than usual so anyway i'm just gonna go with it what are you gonna do it is what it is and let's just move on and finish um the rest of these stocking stuffer type products so i got another lipstick um this is by kat von d and what is the shade isha aisha Aisha, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's a really pretty like lavender purple shade. Um, yeah, I had wanted this one forever. I have like a bunch of these and yeah, I'm glad I finally got this shade because it's really pretty. Look at that color. So pretty. Um, I think this will be really nice for like the spring and summertime. Um, it's not like an everyday lip but I don't know I'd wear this whenever I think it's really cool I really like the lavender okay so let's try and swatch this and not make a mess I'm gonna go like up here maybe a little thinner line yeah it's so pretty um it looks like darker but I feel like it's gonna dry down to like a more lavender type shade I mean it's purple it's definitely purple I just feel like it looks like a little bit darker when you swatch it and maybe it will dry down a little bit lighter I don't know we'll see but anyway that's like the carroty one that's dried down now um yeah 
So Kat Von D liquid lip. And okay, the next thing is this little Kopari um, deodorant. This is the, it just says coconut oil. Um, I don't know if this is their only deodorant or if it's like, it doesn't say like a scent or something. So I guess it just says coconut oil. I'm assuming maybe it smells like coconut. Um, it's aluminum f um, free, vegan, and yeah. Um, you, everyone's, if you've watched my videos, I'm sure you heard me talk about natural deodorant. I've, that's all I use. I've only used natural deodorant for probably five plus years. Um, I just have really like sensitive skin and I was starting to get rashes and like freaking burns under my arms really bad from like aluminum type deodorant. So yeah, I'm always on the hunt for um, like a new, really good, well, I don't know if this is new, but anyway, just new to me, good natural deodorant. Probably my favorite one right now is the Tarte. Um, the Lavanella has a really nice one too, but yeah, um, it's just cool to try a new one. So we'll see, hopefully this works out for me. Uh, my Tarte one is actually pretty empty, so I'll probably be starting to use that soon. And I really like that this is in like a smaller size, so I can take this with me like on the go because the natural deodorants, if you don't know, they don't really last as long as like a regular antiperspirant. Um, I do sometimes like reapply this throughout the day, just like at lunchtime. I just reapply it like once. Um, yeah, so it's just cool that it's in like a little... Um, travel size and then I got this Vaseline um, just like lip balm it just says Vaseline lip therapy it's the original one this stuff is great um, I think this is like so underrated like I've paid like probably $20 before for a lip mask or a lip balm or whatever at um, like Sephora and I mean they're nice don't get me wrong I just feel like you can get like a similar product that moisturizes just as well like this for like two dollars so i think my days of spending like thir 20 30 dollars on like lip balms or lip mask or lip whatever you want to call it at sephora and alter is gone because this is just the best this is the best for moisturizing my lips that i've ever used um i've used a bunch of these it's just the original vaseline lip therapy i'm not a huge fan of the packaging just because i have like long nails i mean yeah you i just how i get this out it's just like in this little jar and i just use the back of my nail like that and just like scoop it out and put the lip balm on which is okay but it's not like the most sanitary and not the easiest way i kind of wish they came out with this in just like the chat the chapstick type form um i don't know if it would be as moisturizing because this is like it's almost like vaseline it's basically vaseline in the tub just you know the one that's for your lips so they probably couldn't get like the same consistency if it was in the stick form but anyway this stuff is just great i know i'm going on and on about this freaking vaseline lip balm but it's definitely my favorite especially right now in the winter months it just hydrates your lips i put this on before I go to bed and yeah, it's just bomb. So anyway, all right, next product um, is this NYX little eyebrow brush. Um, let me see if I can open this so you can see it better. So I wanted to try this because it's basically looked like a dupe for the Anastasia um, eyebrow brush, the number 12 or 18 or something, I think it's called. Um, so that one's great. I've been using that one forever, but mine is getting like pretty beat up and I just needed a new one. So instead of spending $18 on that Anastasia one, I figured, um, maybe I wanted to try this NYX. So it's just like, I don't want to take this off, but anyway, that's like the, um, the eyebrow end. So it's just like, got the, um, I can't even talk right now. It's just got the slanted tip like for doing your eyebrows so yeah so that'll just be great for like carving out the brows and then it's just the same as the Anastasia one it's got the little spoolie on the other end um, so yeah we'll see how this works I mean it's pretty thin and comparable to the Anastasia so I thought it would work just as well um, we'll see I don't know I've tried other brushes before that aren't as good as that one but like I said that one is like $18 this was like $10 Ten dollars, and then I think when we got this around Christmas time in the NYX store, I'm pretty sure it was on sale for like twenty or thirty percent off. So yeah, so that was um, a good deal. Um, next thing I got was this Clairsonic. Um, it's just like the brush head for the Clairsonic. 
So I want to try this one. It's the Deep Pore um, brush head. I've never tried this one before, but I'll open it up and show you guys. It's the old style of brush where it doesn't have that stupid hole in the middle um, like the new ones have. Like, see how the brush is just the the full thing is like bristles like the newer ones have that hole in the middle which i just hate i'm not a fan of that at all like the product just gets stuck in there and i just i don't like the new brush heads um clairsonic please i don't know why you change the brush heads i've been using a clairsonic for years and the original sensitive brush head was my always my favorite but that's one of the ones that they changed with that hole in the middle so the one i tried before this was called like the what the heck was it called? I don't know, the hydrating or uh, I can't even think of the name of it, but it was, it's similar. It looks like this. It doesn't have the hole in the middle, but I just felt like the brush head was too like soft. It just wasn't like it. It's okay to clean my face, but I just felt like it wasn't like deep cleaning. Like when I wear a full face of makeup like this, like I need something to really get in there and clean all this stuff off my face. And I just felt like it just wasn't clean. It's not cleaning my face as well as um, the original brush heads like used to, the sensitive one. And the thing about that one, I wish I could think of the name of it. It's like the hydrating or the clarifying, something like that brush head. And I noticed with that one, like when I was using it on my face, like going like this in circles with Clarisonic, the brush was just like spitting up water everywhere. Water was getting on like the bathroom sink, on the mirror, in my hair and stuff. And I, and it's not like a huge deal, but it was just something to notice um, that was kind of annoying. And the original sensitive one never did that. So anyway, back to this one, the deep pore cleaning. I thought I would try this. I hope it's not going to be too harsh on my face um just that other one was just like too like gentle and it wasn't clean enough so i thought maybe deep pore it might work out for me and it was the original style brush without that stupid hole in the middle so we'll see i'm going to um try that out so the next product is this cute little ulta beauty um like makeup palette and it just comes with a little like mixing tool right there. I just thought this was the cutest thing. It's in the shape of a heart. It's a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be from the picture online, but I basically got this, um, you know, you can use this, it's really to probably like mix foundations and stuff, but I thought when I do some of my face painting makeup looks, um, with my like Mayron makeup palettes and stuff. Like I have like, you know, like basic colors, but sometimes I, I mix, you know, like I'll mix like a white with a green to get a lighter green or, or whatever. And it just like makes a mess in the palette. So I just thought this would be cool for that. I'm not sure if this is going to work out for that just because it is pretty small, but who knows, it might, um, we'll see. If not, I'll just use it for mixing foundation if I need to like lighten or darken a foundation. But yeah, I just thought it was really cute. Um, and then what is this? So this is the Beauty Blender Solid. This is just, um, the brush cleanser. I know it says Beauty Blender Solid, but I use this as a makeup brush cleanser. Um, it works really great as that too. If you've never tried it, it's, I definitely recommend, um, it has this little sticker, so I can't even really open it, but let me see if I can get this. I'm just like so bad with opening these freaking stickers. Nothing wants to off easily let's see if I can get it here okay I kind of like half got it let's see if I can open it from that nope of course not let's see let's try not to freaking break my nails trying to open this thing here let's see one more little thing and then maybe I can twist it off there we go part of the stickers sucked my nail okay so it just unscrews like this and inside it has this little um rubber kind of like thing I don't know what you want to call this mat like whatever so and then inside is the actual cleanser so it's basically just like a soap um like this so I just take this on this little um rubber mat like that and I set on my counter I just take my brushes and I swirl my brushes in there to clean them and it just works really great it's a really great brush cleaner um I've used a couple of these so yeah it's cool to have another one of these. I think the one that I have right now is actually almost empty. So 
that's cool so that's called the beauty blender solid um cleanser brush cleanser and then i got this um this product called honeybees this is the small little sample size but the regular size comes in a jar like this um it's just called honeybee skin healing cream and you can get this on the website it's www.honeybeez.com -E um this stuff is freaking amazing i've been using this for years um the woman i used to go to for massage used to use this stuff all the time and she would have like jars of it that the her clients could buy so i first learned about this through her her name is karen um and then eventually i just started ordering this online pretty much like every year right around in the winter time i'll order this because like i got the big jar for my husband and then he um gave me this because this actually came with the big jar as like a free gift or whatever around the holidays so um this stuff it's just great it's all natural it's made with like the honey bee something i don't know whatever they extract out of the honeybees and like aloe and stuff like i wish this one this one is just a little sample size so it doesn't have all the ingredients and stuff but the bigger one has the ingredients it's just like five ingredients and it's all natural like aloe vera and a couple other things i forget and the honeybee stuff whatever it is that they extract out of there but anyway it's just it's great it's a really awesome um if your skin hands are dry and stuff i mean you can use this all over your body you can use it on your face your body your hands everything but i mostly use this on my hands in the winter um when i'm when they're really dry and yeah this stuff is bomb so i definitely recommend checking it out if you've never heard of them and you have dry skin and you're interested in in like um like natural type organic products um it's great so okay next up is i got another tom ford um fragrance to add to my collection um speaking of which a couple people had requested to do a video um of like a, a video of my tom ford fragrance collection so let me know would you guys be interested in seeing that i thought it was kind of a cool idea i think i might do it um but yeah if you would be interested in watching that type of video let me know in the comments because i can definitely film that i think either way i'm going to film it but if you want it just let me know a couple people have already um asked so this one that i got is just called nior de de nior nior de nior <laughs> i'm tired i can't speak english right now i'm sorry guys i'm trying to get through this here so this i was actually debating between this or the what's the white one i can't even think of what the white one's called it's called like soleil or something but that one is really nice and i had been wanting that one for a while and it was like out of stock on sephora forever and i was like oh do i want this for christmas but then i just um changed my mind because that one it's nice i've smelt it before but it's more like a lighter type of scent that's more i would personally wear in like the summer or spring um but this one i was reading online and it just had like amazing reviews it had all really great reviews it said that it almost smelled like a chocolate rose type scent and it just seemed really intriguing and i wanted to try it so i changed my mind and I decided to get this one. And can I just say, I freaking love that Tom Ford has come out with all these fragrances in this smaller size, because it's really letting me build my collection and try the different scents because not everyone wants to spend three hundred dollars on a perfume i don't want to spend three hundred dollars on a perfume every time and these are like sixty dollars it's just so much more affordable um you know yeah maybe it's not the best value but my tom ford fragrances they're not something i wear every day they're like occasion type fragrances um when i just want to feel like sexy or whatever i'm going out at night and i just you know want a nice fragrance like i'm not wearing this every day to work or something so i don't mind having like the smaller size because i'm not gonna like blow through this um unless i get obsessed with it and love the scent sometimes when i get on a scent like i'll just use it and use it and use it for a while like if i'm loving it you know but anyway regardless i have so many perfumes i'm not going to go through this like crazy it's going to last me so it's in the same type of um beautiful packaging as my other um tra travel size ones i'm sure it probably has yep it has the magnetic um 
closure, which is just like a really cool detail. The bottle is really luxe. Um, how much product is actually in this? I'd be curious to see. Let's see. It only has um, 0.34 fluid ounce, which, yeah, I mean, that's like nothing. But like I said, I don't really care because I'm not using these. It looks actually bigger than it is because this whole bottle, like, that's not the actual perfume. The perfume inside is like in a smaller bottle type inside of this. But anyway, regardless, let's test it out. Oh yeah, this one smells amazing. Yeah, I can definitely see how they're saying the chocolate rose. Like I do get that type of scent. Um, let me just spray it on a little bit. It's the, I feel like these you really have to wait um, for them to dry down and, and wear to get the full effect of the scent. Like when you first, I don't know if it's just me, but when I first spray these Tom Ford um, fragrances, it it takes like a minute to, like I said, dry down and wear and just get the full effect. But anyway, on first scent, it smells really nice. Um, it's strong. It, I feel like this is a strong one. It might not be for everyone. Like I, I say that about a lot of these. I just feel like they're not it's an acquired taste. Like if you don't like a strong perfume, like you're not gonna like this, you know what I mean? It's definitely like heavily scented, but I do get that chocolate rose type of vibe that, um, that the online reviews said. So yeah, I'm happy to add this one to my collection. And yeah. Um, okay, so only a few more things. Most of these things are getting into like the bigger type of things. So, Let's see, we have a few makeup brushes I got here. Um, these are both by the brand Japanesque. Um, I got the angled blush brush and I got the luxe powder brush. So, I mean, I already have a ton of brushes. Do I really need these? No, but I mean, you can never have too many brushes, right? Like most of my brushes, like I, I hate washing my brushes. I don't wash them as often as I should. It just like takes forever because I have so many of them. So it's always nice to have extras on hand. Um, I really like this one, the angled blush brush. It looks similar to my favorite Morphe E4, I believe it is. Um, let me see if I can open this so you can see it a little bit better here. Um, so yeah, so I thought maybe this would be a good dupe for that brush. Um, let's see, can you open this, Krista? No, you probably can't because can you open anything easily today or ever? No. There we go. I actually got it. Oh my god, amazing. And it didn't take like freaking 10 minutes and I didn't have to pause the video. <laughs> Wow. So here it comes out of the packaging. Let's see. Jeez, that's some crazy packaging. What is up with this? Okay. Let's see. It has these two like rubber band things. I'm assuming that was just to hold it into the packaging. So let me just slide these off. So yeah, there it is. Um, it feels really nice. Pretty like dense. Very similar to that Morphe one. Let me see. Let me grab the Morphe one. I probably have it right behind me. Where are you, Morphe? Oh, no, I don't have it right behind me because it's in my travel makeup bag because I brought a bunch of those brushes to the salon today. Okay, so while I pause the video and grab the brushes, um, I just opened the powder brush as well so you guys wouldn't have to sit here and watch me struggle to open that box for like 10 minutes. But anyway, okay, so I grabbed the brush. So this is um, the Morphe, what is this? The Morphe E4. So this is like my favorite blush brush pretty much the br blah, 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 the blush brush that I use like every day so let me put these other ones down okay so they're very similar in shape the morphe one is a tad bit um longer but yeah the shape the density and everything feels very similar so this is cool I think this might be um a pretty good dupe for my favorite blush brush so yeah I'm excited about that and then the powder brush um I opened up here. This is the powder brush that I use um, the most often. This is the Real Techniques powder brush. It's just like a huge powder brush. It just makes it so easy and quick. I use this for um, like pressed powder. So yeah, I just to powder my whole face, you know? So this one, it doesn't feel, it's definitely not as dense. Like you can see it's a lot more of a flimsy brush rather than this one. Like this one has much more 
um, bristles and stuff. So it, it's not as similar as the blush brush, but I still think this will be really good. I just thought this might be good too for, um, I think it might be good for like loose powder. Um, like that one, like I said, I like it's dense, so I use it for the pressed powder, but this might be really nice for loose powder just to like dust all over the face, but yeah. Okay, so next up I got this Origins um, skincare set. So this set is great. Um, it comes with the Origins Modern Friction Nature's Gentle Dermabrasion Scrub is this product right here. Um, this stuff is great. I It's an amazing scrub. Um, I've used up a bunch of tubes of it and I haven't had it for a while so I'm excited to um, have this again. Um, it also comes with the Ginseng Ultra, Hydra Hi Ultra Hydrating Energy Boost Cream and the High Potency Night Amends Resurfacing Cream um, with Fruit Derived AHAs. These products are both great. I love Origins. They're actually one of my favorite skincare brands. Um, I love all of these products. I've used them all before. The Nitamins is amazing. That's like one of my main moisturizers that I use in the winter time um, all the time. It just leaves my skin really moisturized and feels like amazing the next day. This um, cream I love as well. I use this more like in the daytime type cream. It's like a very lighter cream. This is very super thick and this is just a great scrub. So yeah, I'm really excited that I got this skincare set. So the next thing is by Wow Organizer. Um, it's called the Draw Organizer. Wow Organizer is the brand. Um, this one comes with, it says two small trays and two big trays. So basically what these are, oops, something just fell out there, are like tray, let me see if I can get this to focus. They're like this, it's just clear little trays and they're inserts for my vanity. Um, for the Alex draw and the Halifax draw that I have over there where I store all my makeup. So I have a couple of these dividers already inside there, um, but I just wanted some more. I don't have them in all of the draws and my makeup, some of it is starting to overflow. I actually need to get either, I'm gonna get, I have the Alex draw on this side and then the Halifax one is this draw right here. That's the one from, I think that's from Amazon. That's like their brand or whatever. But um, right here underneath where this makeup box and these liquid lipsticks are, this actually isn't makeup. It's just like a filing cabinet. So I'm trying to kind of like not redo my vanity, but just, fix it and get that out of here because that's not even makeup related so i like i probably will end up getting another alex draw so i'll have one on each side and then the bigger halifax draw like under my nail polish rack so when i do get that um other draw i'll have more room because right now i have everything in there but like i said it's starting to overflow and some stuff isn't as organized as i would like it to be so i'm really excited i got these draw organizers um that will help me be able to organize my makeup a little bit better and also i think i'm going to film um soon like a makeup collection type video um i really like watching those um i know some people think it's not like to me that's not like bragging and showing off all your stuff, it's just your collection. I mean, that's what I collect. This is what I like, this is, I love makeup, that's what I collect. It's my money, I work hard for it. If I wanna spend it on that makeup, I'm gonna spend it on makeup. And I do get sent a lot of stuff um, in PR as well, so I have a lot of makeup. But anyway, um, I want to film that type of video, so if you guys would be interested in seeing that, let me know. Um, yeah, so uh, these organizers will definitely be helpful um, trying to get my makeup organized before I film that video. So I kind of saved like the best and biggest item for last. Um, so this is actually a gift from my sister I had asked for. Um, I had been wanting one of these for a while and so what it is is a skincare fridge. So I got the wanted the black one that's what i um had picked out and showed her i wanted because i thought it would match my vanity and stuff i'm not sure exactly where i'm going to keep it if i'm going to put it like on my vanity or what but let's see if i could open this here and show you um so yeah so this is the skincare fridge and this is by the brand Cooley coolio coolio i don't know Cooley. there it is right there um yeah, so let me see if I can open this. 
I don't know. It's probably I'm probably not gonna be able to open it. We clearly can tell I'm not good at opening stuff. It might have a lot of packaging and whatnot. Um, but actually, no. It looks like it should come out pretty easily. It's just a little styrofoam at the top. So let's see if I can get this out of here. Ooh, it's light. It's like a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Um, Okay, so here is the fridge. Super cute. Look at this. <laughs> so yeah, I think this will look really cute on my vanity. Um, I just want to like plug it in and see how loud it runs and everything and like if it's, you know what I mean, where it makes most sense to keep it. But anyway, that's the handle. So it's just black and it's got the silver handle. Really pretty. I'm like psyched that I picked this black one out. I think it matches perfect with my whole vanity and my setup. And then inside is just two little draws like that um it's got like the cords and stuff to plug it in let me see if i can just take that out and like the little instructions and stuff so you can see inside here so yeah it's just super cute um just i figured like that jade roller i'm gonna keep that in here throw in some um of like my masks and stuff and like little like um the eye masks that feel cooling and some of um just my sleeping masks and serums and stuff like that so yeah so i'm super psyched i got this so thank you sarah that was an awesome christmas present and i think that is it for beauty products i do have one more product it's not beauty um but i think it's just really cool and i just wanted to show you guys so yeah i'm gonna show you so i got this from my dad um it is the entire game of thrones um collection on blu-ray so look at this thing it's like massive um i can't wait to re-watch the entire series and yeah i'm super psyched um, that I got this and I just thought it was really cool and I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm a huge fan of the show. I watched the entire show. Um, do you guys like the show? Let me know what you think. Did you watch it? What do you think of the ending? I wasn't that thrilled with the ending, um, but and I can't wait for the spinoffs. Like I hope um, some of the spinoffs come out soon. I'm definitely going to watch. So yeah, I just thought I would show you guys because this is like a super cool gift and I'm definitely going to binge watch the entire series again. Um, so yeah, I think that is it. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, maybe found something helpful, like seeing some of the beauty products and stuff like that I got. And, um, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.